Hi everyone, this is Ingrid from Old Town Charm. And first I wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for all your patience. Here is a brand new video, just in time for the holidays. I know today is actually November 2nd, but as soon as it hits November 1st, I'm putting my Christmas ornaments and trees out and getting the house ready for a winter wonderland in Florida. So that means rain. <laughs> But I just want to say thank you. I am back doing some videos. It's been a while. I had a weird year. Um, first, uh, it's been really busy with our business, with Old Town Charm. Lots of new um, customers buying our soaps, our candles, and our artwork. And also, we had a little bit of hiccups with family members getting sick, but they're all getting better now. I actually had to quit my job um, to care, take care of my family and take care of the business. So it was meant to be something that needed to happen. And now I'm actually here, I guess, with a little bit more time to do videos and to talk to all you guys and answer any questions and enjoy making more soaps. So here I am making my Christmas tree. I already mixed my lye and my oils and they were all at 210 degrees and so. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and we will see you later with the results. Bye now. So on this soap uh, mixture, I noticed that my oils and my lye were a little bit higher than usual. I like to have them at 200, but this one I did not notice and the oils were already at 226. So immediately after I did my first mix, it volcano up really quickly, which is fine. You just have to make sure that again, with hot process, don't go too far from your mixture because you never know when it's going to volcano up, when it's going to have an eruption and you want to be there to avoid any spillage. Um, the other thing that I noticed on doing it in a little bit higher um, degree, it took longer to actually finally mix together well, um, do saponification, separate the triglycerides and become soap. So I will stick to 200 degrees because that when it's at 220 or more, it just takes way longer for the hot process to become um, soap. So at this point, um, I can see that the color has changed. Also, the consistency is a lot thicker and it does stick to my spatula. So I know it's getting there, but it's not quite there. You can see it's still fluffy, um, but just in a few seconds, you're gonna see how it goes all to beautiful golden color. And then it goes to a nice, like a Vaseline consistency. That's when I know my soap is ready. I let the soap cool down. Once it's cooled down enough, then I will add my Greek yogurt, my sodium lactate, and of course, you can add whatever ingredient you wanna add at this time, except for your scents. Um, you have to wait until some scents, of course, some companies, they have a certain degree that you should add your, uh, your scents to it, so it doesn't burn out. Um, so right now I'm adding my Greek yogurt. And for those of you that are new to my channel, the reason why I add Greek yogurt 
it's an extra component that makes my soap even more moisturizing so it leaves your skin very soft and Greek yogurt overall is really good for you um, here I'm adding my fragrance and my colors this is Christmas tree soap so I went for a beautiful uh, dark green forest or dark forest green um, and then I mix it all together and it doesn't look pretty right now but trust me the end product is just beautiful um, I'm using like a pine scent like a Christmas tree scent for my soap and it smells so good making this soap was perfect because it brought me into my mood of putting out my Christmas tree of my decoration so it was perfect timing to do the soap and it should be ready very soon for everybody so right now I'm molding it and this is a new mold for me so I'm trying to test it out to make more batches at one I am getting tired of uh, doing one by one and here I'm actually adding biodegradable glitter from Mad Micah's. Love this. I think this is Color Me Gold. And look, look at that. Beautiful. All right, so let's wait for, two, for 24 hours and then voila, cutting time. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. more cutting so i'm gonna leave you here i just want to say thank you so much for waiting for all of your fans and charmers out there thank you for all your beautiful comments and asking me to do more videos this will be my first of plenty more coming and i hope that you like this share this hit the notification bell so you can get more videos and Hey, tell all your friends and family to go ahead and subscribe. Look at these swirls. Look at that. So beautiful. I love how this one turned out. Love it. So thank you again, and I hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Bye now.